Hey, how's it going? It is late. I have just woke back up from crash again because of work schedule. Um, about 4:25 in the morning, May 25th. Well, it has been a week. It has been a month. It has been. All right. <clears throat> so, a lot of stuff's been happening. A lot of stuff's been going down. Now, I've got a lot of my mind about it, and there's only so much that can be said about it. I thought about doing this on screen, but quite frankly, I'm tired of really trying to do it. I, I like to get certain things off my chest, you know, half the stream one way, and half the stream another. I've heard all kinds of weird, fucked up stuff from both sides lately, and I think it's time to actually talk about it a little bit more. Uh, as a result of that video post, so there's been a lot of great information that's popped up. Unfortunately, one thing that I've started to see a lot of is people on all sides that are either purposefully releasing information or just jumping on what other information is thrown out there without actually looking into it. <clears throat> this Safe Spaces fiasco today was just one big example of that. People have asked me about that, I want to say for the last, what, week, two weeks? And every time, I keep telling them, this doesn't seem like it adds up. It doesn't seem like there's anything of substance. Just leave it alone. Be done with it. And go on to something, because it's not like information on scurry stuff that Joy's doing is hard to find. It's really not. It's actually as easy as just watching for the patterns on her live streams and even on her Twitter. She does more damage there than anything any of us can really do. And... For everything everyone wants to talk about my video, again, those same patterns are there. And the worst they had to say about me was, oh, fingernails, or the guy talks weird, or length of video. That's it? Okay. But, as a result, I'm now getting approached by people who seem to think that I'm like the tactical warhead for their particular vendetta, not that I understand. Not that I'm surprised that people are pissed off at Katie. I'm really not. <laughs> That's like saying there are grains of sand in the desert, okay? Congratulations, welcome to the club. We have free cookies for the dark side or stole them all. But there is a certain way to handle it. And this is not being handled well. In fact, it's being handled so ass backwards that it's not helping the situation. It's making it harder to criticize her. And any good that any of my video might have done is going to be quickly swept to the wayside because it's going to be basically sorted in with, lumped in with, and regarded to the same as all the other bullshit that is sledging everything up. Guys, if you're, oh, you want, you, you're, you're pissed off at her and you want her to go down, whatever. But think things through, please. Doing what they do? isn't helping you and it's making it worse and it makes it harder to criticize don't pull a jamie don't pull an aussie don't pull any of that shit there is plenty of information out i do find it funny that she threw out something about the uh lol cow journalism though because it's still more credible than any of her journalism unlike her they actually at least not on the entirety of of lol cow but on her particular thread they're like no we want facts, we want things to check into, and they're pretty to the wire. So, I mean, and even there, a lot of the newcomers that have popped in there, they're like, oh my god, this must be this. No, it's not. Stop. Chill out. Simmer down. Calm down. And for the love of mittens, kittens, and sunshine and gravy, please think. It's bad enough we got that shit going on with Joy's minions where they don't want to think for themselves. Or they keep parroting whatever comes out of her mouth. And guys, between the comment sections and everything else, when you repeat just what she says, you make it clear that you're not thinking for yourself. That you're not listening. That you just want to find something to dismiss so you can go right back to believing whatever you want. It's called cognitive dissonance, and it doesn't really surprise me a lot, but after a while it does get old. Ugh. And, uh, I was, again, I was going to address this on stream, but it's so much easier if I just make a damn video about it and be done with it, rather than drag that up on the stream where everybody is fucking tired.
tired of hearing about it. I'm starting to get really tired of a lot of stuff. And on both sides. Because the very stuff that I called out on her side, I'm seeing start of some of that start to creep up on the anti Katie side. Guys, it doesn't matter what side of the fence it is. Wrong is still wrong. They can decide to be toxic. They can decide to do that usual bullshit. We can decide to be better than that. We're not going to do that by being what we oppose. So stop. I'm not going to say don't do it because I'm seeing situations where it's already being done. And I'm going to say, stop. Don't be surprised if I start calling you out when I see it. Because I will, very vehemently. You are only hurting things. You are screwing things up for the rest of us and just ensuing that when she goes to the next leg of her bad behavior, that she's going to get away with it. And that's going to be in your head. Some of us would rather prevent that shit from going down. There have been enough people hurt and harassed and mistreated and lied about. You're not helping that. You are basically making it worse to the point where if that continues, it's going to be harder to criticize because she's just going to write it off. She's just going to spin that shit just like she's been doing at every other opportunity. So even dead to rights, even caught in the act, she'll wind up getting away with it because she'll know how to work the crowd by then. Perfectly. And there won't be much that anybody can really do about it. If you want to see bad behavior get rewarded, keep on with the bullshit. But don't be surprised if you don't see a lot of respect coming from this way. Or other folks that have gone through that shit. Because we're going to be pretty pissed off at you, and you're not going to like what we have to say. Don't assume that just because you don't like joy, just don't assume that that means we're automatically going to get along. If you're acting like an ass, I'm still going to have something to say about it. I'm not going to put up with it, whether it's in my streams or outright otherwise. And if I see it, I will be calling it out. Period. Flat out. End of discussion. This special spaces bullshit could have been prevented. It didn't even need to start up at all. But certain people just had to be so goddamn overzealous. Oh, we're going to be the one that takes her down, and then the, the universe will shower us with praise. Get a fucking grip. It doesn't work that way. Look at goddamn Onision. He's been on the YouTube, YouTube for how long? He's been pulling this shit for how long? You think it works like that? Time to get a reality check. You're not going to burn her channel down. She's not going to lose too much in the way of subs, and if she does, she'll just hit some other hot topic emotional issue. To rope everybody back in. And if you think I'm kidding, I literally called it chapter and verse said, watch. It popped up on her tweet feed. That, that stuck with Manchester. It popped up on her tweet feed. I guarantee you there'll be a couple of videos on it before you know it. She's practically, she can't control herself. It'll happen. And lo and behold, it wasn't even ten minutes. She couldn't even stop long enough to get her goddamn facts straight. Her fans are saying, please stop this. And what's going on? What's going on with her peanut gallery? They're defending this shit. Guys, you see it. I don't know what more it takes at this point. You see it. It's right in front of your faces. But the mental gymnastics that you do to make excuses for this woman are just, they defy belief. You wonder why they call it a cult. You wonder why they say, there's something wrong with y'all. Y'all are intelligent people, but there's something wrong upstairs. When she does it right in front of your face, and up, oh, no, I, I, it's okay, she's just being attacked. She made her own damn problems. Cause and effect. Stop making excuses and stop enabling bad behavior. And please stop writing it off to me that you're doing it because you're good friends. Because a good friend does not enable that behavior. Does not make excuses for it. If they start shit, they are held accountable. That's a good friend. The other stuff is just sucking up and brown nosing, or clinging to someone in a very unhealthy manner, both for them and for you. Wake up! Open your eyes, open your ears, and see what is right in front of your face. I don't expect you to believe a word that comes out of my mouth. Actually, I generally tend to expect the opposite. And I certainly don't do this for fucking attention, and I'm certainly not getting any kind of kicks or positive wow this and that. 
it's great to, to meet a few more friends, but look, I mean, I'm just tired of this shit. I'm tired of seeing people get messed with. I'm tired of people see people go through this shit. And for what? For one person's ego? Is it really worth all this? To her, she didn't give a shit. But y'all, man, y'all just let her do as she pleases. And one of the, and one day somebody is gonna wind up getting hurt. She's gonna make the same excuses because they never change. Never. How long? How long does every excuse keep being shit talker, hater, don't know what they're talking about before you realize that she's running into the ground? What is it gonna take when it's right in front of your face and you still don't care? I am tired of the excuses, I am tired of the lies, and I am tired of the overzealous bullshit on both sides. Guys, if, if you want to go after her, fine, that's you do you, but there's enough information that is actually out there. Don't just leap onto something. You don't have to just immediately react to something. Chill the fuck out, take a step back, integrate everything. Sip through meticulously. This is not something you have to rush. But if you do rush it, it will turn out badly for the community at large. It just makes you look like a joke. Okay? Her fans may be in the wrong for allowing the bullshit that goes on in front of their faces without saying anything. Without standing up and saying, no, we're going to hold you accountable. Just the side, people like me need to stand up and hold you guys on the other side of the fence accountable and saying, stop with the overzealous bullshit. Just stop. You're hurting things. You're making the situation worse. I would rather that you took the time to sift through the information to find out what's current and actually to do a little bit of logistical legwork and say, okay, this fits, this doesn't fit. I want to make sure I have all the information before I make a move, before I announce something. Like, you don't have to go, oh, hey, special spaces, I have something. Because you didn't. If you did have something, you would have had all the information there, spot on. Contacted them, found out what was this, found out exactly what was said and how, and kind of sifted through it and went, oh, hey, wait a minute, that's a 12-year char charity there. This person was not involved with any kind of charity work 12 years ago. Clearly, they do not own special spaces. A plus B, C. Logistics. Thinking things through. There's a difference between thinking things through and putting something out, which becomes credible, usually, depending on what is put out. And just throwing something out there just so I can say, I have dirt on joy. So what? She's got dirt on her. She does more on a day to damage herself. But nobody's going to be looking at it because they're, they're too busy paying attention to your bullshit. And then the next time she gets up on her little self-martyr act and says, oh, I'm being picked on. They're going to listen to her. They're not going to listen to a damn thing you have to say. And when the next person comes along to criticize, what, you know what's going to happen? Mob mentality states exactly what's going to happen. They're going to go with the crowd thought, which is they're going to link that person immediately in with your bullshit. So stop. I am pleading and begging with you as respectfully as possible, and I am really pissed off about it. I am, because this shit today did not have to happen. It did not have to happen. So I am pleading and begging with you, dial it back a notch, take a step back, start thinking shit through. We're talking long-term, not just short-term reactionary bullshit. Long-term. If you can't do that, go back to lurking, or don't just don't release anything at all. I would rather somebody took the time and got the shit done right than make the rest of us all look like fools and get lumped in with fools just because there's a bunch of idiots running around that want to be labeled the joy the joy kill, you know? It doesn't work that way, guys. And 
nobody wants to get rid of one only to replace them with another. I just had to get this off my chest because I'm getting really tired of it. I've had a week where I've gotten like nothing but nonstop messages and some people have been really nice. Uh, some people have been like, hey, you know, um, there are points that you may have gotten wrong in your video. There are points that are actually kind of spot on. There's some stuff you need a little bit more clarity on. Okay, cool. I have had messages from people that hate Joy and people that like Joy or people that are on the fence. All different walks of life, all different age, age ranges. And many of them have been awesome. But there have been many of them that are just, I'm starting to wonder where their head's at. Or they're giving me some really ugly vibes. And I'm still trying to process all of that. But anyway, one big announcement that I really plan to make as a result of this. Because I was going to stream tonight and stuff. And then I wound up just getting tired. Because this, this shit's been getting me really, really stressed out. I am just... After a while, just talking to the same robot responses, I mean, shit. Some cases I could just be talking to a cha chatbot because it's the same damn script over and over again. It gets really old really quickly, especially when people want to try and insult my intelligence. And again, that's on both sides. And where I see it, I'm going to call it out. So, from the point of this video, I'm taking a week off. Um, if I do decide to stream, I'm not bringing this shit up on stream, mainly because I want to get to something a little bit more positive. Guys, I've got other stuff that I do. Okay. And you see my little work Mac and stuff in the background. I work from home. I try to get some creative stuff out. I try to balance my life with other things. Yes, I know. Katie went on and was like, oh, he's obsessive. No, lady, you're the bitch that was watching my, my Twitter feeds, my YouTube, and everything else. And every post that may or may not have been there on Lolcow. Yeah, I posted on Lolcow. That's no secret. Um, so if you want to talk about fucking obsession, and as far as me having a crush on you, lady, I've seen how you treated your last, your, your boyfriends. Fuck that and fuck you. No. There is a reason that you've never really addressed any of my shit. There's a reason that any time anybody's brought anything to your attention, you've immediately engineered spin, mental gymnastics, or flat-out lies, and then blocked them. You aren't afraid of death threats or you'd be seeking the attention of the uh, police. Again, just more manipulative bullshit, just to kind of deflect from things. But it's always interesting to hear these nice little bullshit lies you throw up. Pity that even those are 10 years old. Again, get better material. And to her fans, you're going to need a lot better material than fingernails, length of video, and this guy's voice pisses me off. Okay, well, whatever. I don't, still don't care. Um, you're also going to need better material than just repeating blindly whatever comes out of her mouth. So, just saying. If you're going to do that shit, don't waste my time. Thanks. Other than that, I'm usually happy to hear whatever anybody has to say. And don't play social justice warrior tactics or any of that shit, because I've seen that shit through activism, God, I don't know how many times, uh, before it was used in abuse, some of those tactics we created. So I'll call you out on it. Don't waste my time with that either. Anyway, so starting for today from the, for the upload of this video, I'm taking a week off. I'm taking a break from all this bullshit. I will still be on Twitter here and there. Um, but for the most part, I'm just not dealing with this shit. Y'all want to eat each other alive and make yourselves look like fools because you're too damn eager? Then, um, knock yourselves out. But you're not going to get a lot of help when you come, you know, hey, help me with this. Nope. Mm -mm, not touching it. Um. This shit gets really old really fast. It gets really tired really fast. And quite frankly, like I said, I may stream, but I plan on doing other things. I plan on going back to the positive stuff. That's what I want to do. I, I basically said my piece. I put my stuff out there. I showed enough patterns to give everybody else enough to where they can 
see for themselves. They can just pull up her live streams and, oh, look, this is what she does. She's doing this shit again. This is what she did. She's doing this shit again. Where people want a clarification, I did that. Okay? Do not confuse me with your tactical warhead. Okay? There's more than enough credible shit out there. I'm not your tactical nuke. I am not the axe to throw in the mist. She's done enough shit. It's not exactly hard to find. Okay? So, I'm kind of coiling back from all of that for about a week or so. If y'all need to find me, you know where to find me. I'm not a hard person to find, honestly. But this toxic stuff is bullshit. She wants that environment. She can have it. This neck of the woods, that don't fly here. Okay. And by the way, and uh, oh, might as well bring that up about my streams. The reason that I do my streams late at night, I get off usually about 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. After that, I take a moment to eat, unwind, and lately sift through the numerous messages, clarify things up, and so on. So usually about that time, it's about eh, 11.30, maybe 12, before I actually get settled down enough to do a stream. Even then, I may or may not do a stream, because if I have to wake up the next day at like 12 or something like that, I want to make sure I have a decent amount of sleep. And, you know, those streams can be anywhere from about 2 to 5 hours long. It's not hard to figure that out, because you can just see any stream that I posted, and you go, oh, wait, that's 2 to 5 hours. Well, shit. Okay? So, um... Depending on my schedule, that means that I could be any, up anywhere from like 2 to 5 in the morning, which leaves me only a certain time to sleep until I gotta get up, get ready, get all that stuff together. Okay? If I have to work earlier, probably not gonna happen. But I do like to try and pull up a stream at least sometime, just so I don't throw everybody out in the lurch and people don't think that I'm ignoring them or I've abandoned them. And since all this stuff has gone down, I like to start to reserve the first part of that for getting that bullshit out of, the, out of the way. And then the rest of it becomes games and hopefully some fun games and all that shit. Okay? That's why I do what I do. It, is, it has nothing to do with anybody's timetables or when people are up. Actually, a large part of the people that I haven't seen in some time, um, they are on different time schedules, and they're more active during the day. I would love to actually talk more with these guys. I just have to work within a certain particular time. Now, this week, I'm here to, like, I'm out at, like, 8.30 or so, so I might actually be able to stream at, like, you know, 9 or 10 or something like that, all situations depending. But even still, I'm not really wanting to focus on Katie during those streams. This is not going to be an anti gaze channel. I mean, yes, I released my little parody video because, quite frankly, I was tired of it. I'm I'm still planning on doing the Still Alive thing. Hopefully better than the first one. Gotta admit, though, those were good lyrics. Oh, well. Art is in the eye of the beholder, or the ear of the eye and ear of the beholder. Anyway, that's the scoop on that. That's why I do that. And so hopefully that addresses a lot of those bullshit rumors, because that gets real old. And uh, I do keep in mind who says the shit, so don't think you're going to be acting buddy-buddy with me and that I'm not going to notice exactly what you do and what you really are when I see the tweets. I see the other stuff that, that gets filtered back to me from what happens when you're in Joy's channel and all that other shit. I, I see what happens, so... Um, you're still, of course, welcome to my channel. Don't worry about that. I've set very clear, clear guidelines on that shit. But if it gets out of hand and you're just looking to start a problem, then you're going to find yourself like that. But other than that, shoot, you make fun of me all day. Hell, I make fun of myself. I do it a lot better than happy I'll do. But uh, anyway, all that ranting and raving aside, is there anything else on my mind? I'm, as you can tell, asleep. I woke up, well, 24 minutes and 38 seconds ago. And this is on my mind, so I'm getting off my chest. So, yeah. Biggest thing is, I'm taking a breather from a lot of this shit. I'm not dealing with the toxic bullshit or any of that other stuff. 
And uh, when I do pop up more frequently, I think you're going to see that I'm on a lot more zero tolerance for a lot of that shit. So, um, y'all guys and the uh, comrade crew that want to talk shit and start shit, have fun. Because uh, I'll be throwing back. I will be fighting back. Every opportunity. The more you push, the more you will be pushed back. As far as Joy goes, Little Miss Pathological Liar can't keep her story straight for five minutes. Well, let's face facts. She's just going to keep, no matter what you say, she's going to spin it. She couldn't even be honest about supposedly reaching out to me. She never reached out to me, guys. Never. That's a lie. She never reached out to Tim. She never reached out to Mandy or any of that other shit. But she told everybody on live stream that she did and was rejected. Someone like that can't trust a damn word that comes out of her bloody mouth. But I'm going to extend an olive branch? Yeah, fuck that, no. That bridge is burned. <laughs> that bridge is burned, and the only thing her actions have proved over time is that I should have done this a long, long time ago. And you guys that want to laugh and throw stones at me, I want you to realize you're doing this from a glass tower. Sooner or later, you'll be sitting in these shoes. And then you'll understand every word that I'm talking about. People thought that I was kidding before. They found out the hard way. You'll find out the hard way just like every other person that's ever gotten close to it. It's the same shit. But some people have to learn for themselves. Some people have to figure this shit out the hard way. And no matter what you tell them, they're going to deny it to the very end. I, I, you do you. But don't bring your bullshit my way. Because you can't claim to know the shit. You know a face on a screen. That's it. Uh, have I talked in circles enough? Have I ranted enough? It's about 27 minutes. I've only got only got two and a half hours to go. No, I'm kidding. It's not going to be two and a half hours. Dear gosh. Oof. Uh, so, anything else that I've got planned? Um, more interactive stuff. Still trying to figure out what to do about that contest, since I think free games people would be up for that. You would think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I'm going to take a week, refocus, rewind, kind of uh, go through some things in my head, and really decide what I want to do from here. Because this shit is crazy. And I'm going to say this again. Guys that are pulling, putting out false information. On Katie's side of things. Mucking things up is not being a good friend. You're just show, showcasing that she's trying to hide her. Basically has something to hide. And that she's trying to cover her ass. You're not helping her. You're just... Showing that that's all the more suspicious. People that are on the other side of the fence, that are not on Katie's side, by just randomly pouncing on anything, you're just showing you're more overzealous than thinking things through. You are making it harder to criticize. We already saw that shit with Jamie. We saw that shit again now with the safe spaces stuff. It's time to get it together. If you can't do that, then don't bother. Okay, I said my piece. I'm aware it may piss people off on both sides. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn. I've been dealing with this for like a solid week now, trying to play referee between multiple people that want to have their own personal conniption fit. Guys, this is not fucking junior high. And even then, they had it more together than this shit. It's time to reel it in, get it together, and just get with it. All right, I'm done. Have a good night, everyone. I will see everybody again in a week if I haven't seen you on, if I don't screen and see you on you now. Hopefully some stuff earlier in the day, and hopefully we can just sit back, have fun, 
and not worry about this shit. And it really says a lot, at least in my neck of the woods. It doesn't matter who the fuck you support. It doesn't even matter whether you like me. The stream is not about me. It's about you. When was the last time you had that shit happen? And if you can't answer that question, maybe you should be asking yourself some other questions. You do you. Have a good night, guys. And the majority of you I will see in about a week or so. And, uh... Anybody that actually needs to find me, you know where to find me. It's that simple.